Dr. Proton, Dr. Neutron, and Dr. Electron. Welcome back to Alliance Den. I'm Shara Wick. As a special edition of our season finale, we have a room of chemists who are here today to prove that their invention will leave a footprint in the world of chemistry. Okay, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It doesn't even make sense. Is it relevant? Okay, why don't you just get out right now? <laughs> I worked so hard! Hi, how are you? Tell us what you have to Alliance, my name is George Whiteside. I co-founded Diagnostics for All, which is a nonprofit organization that saves lives through the creation of low-cost and easy-to-use diagnostic devices designed specifically for the 60% of the developing world that lives beyond the reach of urban hospitals and medical infrastructure. That was money, so let's get to the point. Yes, but my goal is to invent a future where medical diagnosis can be done by anyone for little or no cost at all. I created the White Sides Research Center, where a group of talented chemists and researchers work to find answers to the world's most profound questions. We focus on microfluidics, nanofabrication, and infochemistry. Tell me, what have you done so far? The researchers that have been conducted in infofuses have helped to develop a system that transmits information from a sender to a receiver in the form of cold pulses of light generated entirely by chemical reactions. Electronics will not be, in, in, be part of the transmission. This makes the transfer of medical data more efficient. This is a step towards a paper-conserving society. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So what brings you here? Today, I'm here to present the idea of a lab on a chip. So, lab on a chip, care to... So, this is the lab on a chip, but it's magnified. The actual size is much smaller. Uh, it's uh, one centimeter by one centimeter. And we can see here, it's the, the chambers, where, which are, are embedded with chemicals that will react with the body fluid that, fluid that we put on the sheet. And these channels are here so that it doesn't soak up the liquid that we're going to put on here. And the chemicals embedded here will react and show us different colors. The body fluid we put on the sheet can either be blood or urine since there are two types of testing paper. The channels on the paper will direct the fluid to the chemical chambers. The chambers are bedded with dried protein and chemically triggered dyes. When the body fluid passes through, the paper will change color and the colors will indicate whether or not the person has a healthy amount of the chemical in their body. Gathering small amounts of fluids avoids the need for syringes, which can be hard to clean and dispose of. Shrinking the paper and minimizing the quantity of the required chemicals reduces manufacturing costs. So take a look at your report here, and you have some in interesting statistics. So it seems that deaths from liver failure are 12 times as common among African AIDS patients as among American ones, because current liver tests are expensive and require tubes of blood. The use of the lab with a chip device will allow patients to take the liver tests at a cost almost equal to nothing. From this report you have provided us, we can see that the lab on a chip will make the medical diagnostic process more efficient, allowing doctors to quickly obtain information about the patient's internal body systems. The amount of different chemicals in the patient's body, such as the quantity of protein and glucose present. If we use blood, the dots on the sheet will tell us different information about the person's body. The invention of this project will greatly reduce the cost of scientific study on the human body. This will introduce a new method to identify the different substances in the human body. This invention has also brought forward cost-efficient ways to determine the medical conditions within a person based on their substances. So where do you see this, this device in the next five years? For the future, I'm hoping to computerize this technology. 
Patients can take a picture of their results and send it to their doctor, which will then be analyzed through a computer system. This will make the process fast and efficient. I'm only asking for $500,000 for 35% of this research project. Okay, I think we have a deal. Yes, yes. So once again, George Whiteside, another brave chemist, has entered the lion's den and now leads with an innovative idea and vision to make a difference in the world of science. So that's it for today's episode, everyone. Please stay tuned for the new season in the new year.